sector. Ang ato ang gusto may tabo sa Davao City o sa ato ang mga city set is na atay source of income. Tama ba? Ginsay gusto source of income. Ask come on. To have source of fund or source of income, duha ang ato ang dapat ni moon. Number one is to get employed. Number two is to be an entrepreneur or negosyante. thoughts about this particular topic. Is this really something relevant right now? Michael from In River, Philippines. So, um, looking at the the skills needed of the talents right now, actually, um, the technology that we're using in the IT industry changes like um, almost every year. So, uh, I think it is very relevant for us to support the training of, of our um, candidates, our applicants, so that they'll be equipped with uh, you know, the updated skills that they need um, to find jobs in the market. Good morning, I'm Anne from Hartman Business Solutions. Yes, it's very relevant, sir, because we've already seen the shift um, of demand and focus from merely voice services to more specialized and expert um, services. So for us to cope with that, we also need to upskill the talents and our workforce. I'm the senior manager for uh, human resource in Sutherland. What are those IT specific courses? We can you can specialize in virtual assistant, specialize in mobile app development because that's where the business are. And if you really wanted to be part of the integrated business process outsourcing, then the um, the data science. Um, analytics, you can also do that. So my name is John Arano. I'm the CEO and founder of Ingenuity, a software company, and also Academy. So Academy is our training arm. We have our booth there. If we want to remain relevant and stay ahead of the curve, we really have to upskill and move up the value chain. We cannot remain as contact support agents or customer support agents and BPO. All of these uh, jobs are slowly being eaten by bots and automation and AI. Uh, the acting regional director of TESDA Region 11, TESDA, as the authority in TECMO programs, would like to ensure that our graduates will have employment. The metrics of performance is employment. And we do that through the area-based demand-driven debate. Tesla is the supply driven and the industry is the demand driven. We are aligning our training programs based on the priority skills as identified by the industry. For example, in the Dabao region, we have the first ICT Metro Dabao Industry Board. It's really the industry board that looks into the employment opportunities based on the emerging sectors. So we need to have the profiling by industry a prioritization of the needs. Should there be qualifications or programs that are not within our 21 training regulations in the ICT sector, we are really encouraging our industry to come up with a proposal that have really employment prospects. So we would like to encourage different sectors in the ICT to come up with much needed technical assistance in terms of scholarship programs that are emerging. So, based on the uh, needs of the industry. After all, the training regulations of TESDA are based on the industry participation. So, we need you. The challenges that you have uh, provided are, of course, have to be responded by the TESDA through our, our in the area-based demand-driven debate. And we are looking forward for partnership to have this in place, to have this institutionalized and we are looking forward to have more employment opportunities given the area-based participation.
I am the founder and owner of Knights of Online Marketers. We adopted flexible learning delivery. So we were given time to transition 